Todoist have just launched this week their new calendar week to view feature and it's really rather special. Now there's a few caveats here with this calendar. It's not a fully fledged calendar in that you're not going to be able to integrate all your calendars and move your events around. That's not going to be possible. However, the great thing about this week to view calendar in the upcoming area of Todoist means that we now can see visually how busy our week is. So let me take you into Todoist now and I'm going to show you how it works, what to watch out for and how you can get the most out of this new calendar integration feature. Okay, so this is the new Todoist, if you like. This is how it's going to look. So if you notice up here, the today area, we have all your appointments right here. Now, at the moment, if I click on that, it will give me everything that I've got scheduled for today just by clicking on the two more. Now, if you don't like that, you can actually close it down. You can just put it there and then it's just closed down. So that's the first thing you're going to notice once you've got it integrated. And that leads me to the question, how do you get this integrated? Well, what we're gonna do is go into your settings, which is where your name is and your picture, if you have one, go to settings and then go down to here where it says calendars. Now it will have the little green new if you're watching this in June, July, 2024. If you're watching this in 2025 or 2026, it won't be there, but the calendars will be there. So you click on that. Now, the thing is what I've done is I've already integrated my to do it. So there's not much I can do to show you here, but this is the area that you go to. All you need to do is follow the instructions. Now, one caveat here is that if you've already got the Google Calendar integration set up, you're going to need to disconnect the old integration and then reconnect the new integration. Just keep that one in mind because it won't work automatically on the old integration. You need to set up the new integration. Now, when you get this, it, once you've got it connected, it's all going to come down here and you can pick and choose which calendars to actually put into to do it. So I've turned off here. You can see I can show and hide the calendars. My perfect week because that's really just for playing every quarter. And I don't know why I've got to two to doist integrations, although this is my demo account. But anyway, I've turned those off and I only have the ones that I'm actually using the calendars that I actually use. So that's in your settings. Once you've done that, just give it a few seconds, maybe a couple of minutes to actually get integrated and now you've got it all set up. So what's this going to do to your Todoist? Well, let's go into upcoming. Now, upcoming is where you're going to see the whole calendar. I'm gonna close the sidebar now. Uh, so this is just the end of this week. I'm recording this on Saturday morning. So let's go into next week. And what you're gonna see here is all my appointments already populated in my calendar view. This is now going to tell me, and this is one of the key features of this, it's now going to tell me how busy my week is. So I'm looking at this and thinking, well, I've got a bit of spare time between 12 and 1. I've got some time between uh, 4 and 6 p.m. And obviously I've got from about 11 p.m. Now, just keep in mind that I don't do have a regular job. <laughs> Oh, that sounds awful. I don't have a regular job. I work for myself. I'm, my, I'm self-employed. So the nine till five thing, that went out the window a very long time ago. So what we can do here is you can see up at the top that all my tasks for Monday. Now, as I say, I point out this is my demo account. But as you can see up here, I've got all my appointments for ne uh, in my, my Todoist are showing up here. Now I can expand by just clicking on that, just expand the all day view. This will now show me all my tasks that I have for that day. So I'm looking at Monday and I'm looking, ooh, what have I got here? However, the critical thing is this bit here, the focus time. Now, one of the things that I'm not too, not great with this is, and maybe if to do is to watching this, they might decide to do this. If I, what I would like to be able to do is, I've got a focus block time here. What I would like to do is, okay, I'm gonna use that for writing and I wanna put these tasks in here. But what it's going to do is it's going to actually just um, move things over. So when I do this for all my focus block times, to, uh, what's gonna happen is this is going to get looking a little bit messy. 
However, this is one way that I was thinking that you could use this for actually uh, managing your work because this is my focus time block. I don't want to be disturbed and I can move these tasks into here. Now I know that, it, now I can click on this, just put my mouse on there and it will tell me what that task is. Click on it and it's going to open up the actual task. And that's going to come up. Now what I could do in theory is set that as a recurring time. Now I'm not going to do that actually because I like to plan my days, I also like to plan my weeks, and things move around a bit on a week to week basis. But I do have that time block there, and I can actually allocate my tasks. But to me, the most important thing here is that I can look at my calendar, and I can say, oh dear, you know, like for example here on Friday, it's looking very tight, it's looking very busy. Now I don't actually have many tasks on there, but if I go to Wednesday, I've got a bit more time there, I've got quite a bit more free time, so I can say, yep, that's looking realistic. So this is one way that you can actually say, mm, okay, this is how I'm going to plan out my week. I can say, right, let's move some of these out, I can move that out to here, I can, you know, you can move these tasks around perfectly easily just by dragging and dropping. These blocks here, your calendar appointments, you cannot move them. You notice I can't move these. So whenever you put your mouse over it, it means that this is what's called a, a calendar event. It's a calendar event. You can't move that anymore. So I've got here my day off. I can't move that. I can move the tasks, but I cannot move the events. However, as I say, this is actually a really good feature for being able to plan out your week. So when I'm doing the weekly planning, I can look up here and say, is that a realistic day? And that's a really good view. Now, if you don't like that, you can actually change your view. You can go back to uh, list view uh, and it just goes back to your list view. Or you can see it as a board view or you can see it as a calendar view. And you have options here to do uh, monthly or weekly. But I think in terms of your planning, when you're looking at the week as a whole, this is actually a very good view because you can see your calendar set up in the actual view, which I think is a really good way of just making sure when you finish your weekly planning that you can do the, just check that your week is looking realistic. Now that's really all you can do at the moment. Now this is a work in progress. There is something else I should point out that at the moment this is only available with Google Calendar, but Todoist are working on bringing Apple Calendar and Outlook to the options as well, which would be fantastic. So I think you've got some really good planning tools coming into Todoist. And that's what it's really about is planning. It's, I like to keep personally, I like to keep my calendar and task manager separate because my calendar is the most important productivity tool I have because that tells me if I've got time to do the work that I think I should be doing. Whereas my task manager, Todoist, in this case, it just tells me these are all the things you've got to do, but it doesn't tell me if I've got enough time to do them. Only my calendar can do that. But this is just a really good way of being able to just check that you haven't been a little bit over ambitious in the week and you can just move some of these tasks around to actually ensure that you've got everything perfectly balanced for the week. Of course, as we know, whenever you plan the week, things do tend to go wrong, but it's okay because you've always got this option to come back here and just reschedule your week. So this is just a quick video this week, just or this weekend, just to give you an update of this. Only came out, I think, yesterday. That was Friday, the 28th of June. Uh, so there may be a little bit buggy. Uh, if you haven't got it, you probably need to turn on experimental features in Todoist but this is now available. You should be able to play with it and just see how you can get the most out of it. Now, if you want to see how I've got my to-do is set up right now, the whole thing, then this video up here is the next video I suggest you watch.